Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of green dragons and these are the ones found in the Wilderness Slayer Cave. The goal for this video is to make as much profit in 10 hours plus obtain as many hard clue scrolls as I can. And the gear for this one is pretty simple. We were bringing the Fang for ultimate DPS. Uh, I think Dragon Hunter Lance would have worked just as well, but I was just using the Fang for this one. Prosy Light for the prayer bonus since I would be praying Melee and Pity the whole time. Max Cape as well for the prayer bonus and just for all of the benefits with the clue scrolls so that I can bank less. And at first I was bringing an Avernick Defender but I think after a few inventories I switched to a Dragon Fire Shield because I just wanted a little bit more defense bonus and this enabled me to not have to bring an Anti-Fire so yeah. Now I was going to be bringing a cannon but that would be on the ground most of the video. Uh, occasionally I think maybe twice I forgot to go pick it up and when I logged out so I just had to go collect it again but at most I would bring about 500 cannonballs and later on in the video I decided to bring dragon claws just in case I ran into any PKers. And now my ring of wealth was imbued not only was it collecting coins for me but it made it so that the hard clue scroll drop rate was basically in half now from 1 and 128 to now 1 and 64 so with the cannon combined with me being potted as well as using pity and using this amazing fang which I still haven't sold since I bought it for the uh, Bandos video a few months back. Well, all these factors combined means I'll be killing a lot of dragons every hour, and anytime I get a hard clue scroll, I'll be pausing the timer. So let's hope we can really get as many hard clues as possible. Now, this is just a reminder I'm not opening them in this video, similar to the Rogue's Chess video. I am going to try and get to 100 hard clues, and then, of course, uh, you know, I'm going to expect a lot of master clues from that video, but it'll be its own separate video loot from 100 hard clues scrolls and I got a really good feeling about it so hopefully we'll hit a rare drop table but yeah the benefit of doing another wilderness related video is just uh, more clue scrolls and of course green dragons I've never killed them in this area before I do know that it's pretty dangerous I mean it's very easy to look away from your screen and get tele blocked and then all of a sudden a team kills you and it's very hard to escape unless it's like one PK -er and uh, hopefully they're not that great but this is multi-combat so I knew uh, the odds of me surviving would be low but that really didn't uh, deter me from from, you know this 10 hour grind I still wanted to try my best and of course with those claws in the inventory later on in the video if I do happen to die maybe I can take someone with me you know that was kind of the goal I was aiming for and as you can imagine doing so many hard clues I got uh, many many different wilderness steps and I'd even run into PKers there so yeah a lot of people in the wilderness these days it's still thriving um, maybe not thriving but yeah it's nice to see some activity now one thing I really love about these green dragons is that this is multi-combat so my cannon would come in handy really well. A uh, pretty small area to be honest and there's only three dragons that you have to focus on so with the combined DPS from the cannon as well as my fang it was almost like I was picking up drops every second of this video because not only are you going to be expecting the green dragon bones and the hides as well as the insole dragon heads but you are also going to be getting blighted drops featuring all of the sacks, all of the uh, teleports such as all the wilderness areas and the most expensive one of those being the wilderness crabs teleport which is about 38k but alongside that one there's like 10 other teleport tabs that you can get and they're all above 1k each some even being 2k so a little extra profit and on top of this you do have the magic short bow scroll as well as the ring of wealth scroll and uh sadly the ring of wealth scroll is only about 10k but that magic short bow one hovers anywhere from 90k to 100k and then you have the looting bag note uh which is just as rare as receiving the trover parchment uh which is about 1 in 1800 now hopefully we do receive the parchment because that is the most expensive thing that you can get which is about 935k has gone down in price recently but that's still an awesome benefit to you know maybe getting lucky while killing these green dragons there's a prime example of why you shouldn't attack two people in the same world big uh, shout out to that guy had to help him out you know and just to answer the question if you didn't happen to know the reason that all the green dragon bones are noted is simply because i have done the wilderness elite diaries so that'll note any bone from any any dragon in the wilderness. Highly recommend you look into those diaries. It'll make you a lot of money. Very similar to uh, noted Dagoneth King Bones. I was using a Divine Super Combat Potion because it would keep me to 118 the whole time. And then whenever I'd lose a sip, I would just go ahead and resip. And uh, later on in the video, I also brought an extra normal Super Combat just in case of any PKers. One thing that kind of surprised me during this video was that I did run into a decent amount of teams, but a lot of them just decided not to attack me. Some of them 
would just kind of throw a telly block at me and then log out, which is fine with me, as long as you don't follow up with that telly block. Uh, but then, of course, there would be a few teams that decided to try their best to kill me, and some succeeded, but uh, others not so much. But I look forward to you guys seeing that pretty shortly. Uh, don't you hate that feeling after you cough a lot? Uh, it just gives you a little headache there for a second. But anyway, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, five hours down so far. Following the five-hour mark, I did receive a shield left half. Always nice to see a shield left half and a dragon spear. I know I got a few of those. So here we have two guys attacking me. We have a ranger and a major. My basic plan was, since I knew I was going to survive, poke the major once with my sword to lower the HP a little, and then spam click the cave, get those claws on as fast as possible, and follow that poke up with a special attack. Well, what do you guys think happened? Yeah, it all worked out luckily for me. Unluckily for me, he literally had nothing, so I don't know. He was probably going to run out of runes shortly, or, um, you know, yeah, four wrath runes, so I mean, he didn't really have much going for him. And his partner, I can't say much good about him either, but that was an example of, like, PKers that are on, I'm not going to say my level, I'd like to think that I'm a little bit better than that, but uh, those are people that I can actually kill. You know, you're always going to run into people that you can probably kill if you just set your mind to it, and his partner... I don't know if I would have killed him, probably would have just out DPS'd him, but he ended up teleporting. And if you're curious as to like why people come here with salad robes and 10k risk, 50k risk, it's really because this is a botted area. I didn't run into a single real player here in the 10 hours that I spent here throughout the last two and a half days. By the way, this the uh, reason this video wasn't uploaded yesterday night was because the clue scrolls are just keeping me busy. I mean, these 10 hour videos went from 10 to 13 hours, so uh, just a little bit of extra play time, that's why this one was released tonight. But yeah, it is understandable for people to welfare PK here because the bots are very easy to kill uh, as long as you get the first tele block on them. I know this because I tried a Dragon Claw spec one and he teleported right after my first spec. So that's at least two to three seconds that they're not going to teleport. And it's uh, probably like a 50 to 75k loot from a bot here. But anyway, here we have someone who looks like he was killing bots. He has two loot keys on him and my Dragon Claw spec that uh, worked out so well the first time didn't work on this guy. He's a little too smart for that. So I ended up chasing him. And on, honestly, I didn't really see anything coming from this, but I figured I'd try my best. As long as they don't have a team, you know, what, what do you have to lose at this point? So I had plenty of brews and plenty of supplies, one special attack remaining, and I was just trying my best not to lose him. If he would just be one more step ahead, then I wouldn't be able to keep hitting him. But somehow, even uh, though I switched to Dragon Claws, I was able to uh, not lose him, and I did kill him. So I was very surprised with that one. But again, uh, mediocre loot. Uh, again, I'll take it, though. Anything will help the price check out. And hey, we've almost killed 1,500 green dragons and I still haven't died. So I was very surprised. Uh, the few times that I was in normal worlds was when I would run into those bots. And if they saw me, they would hop after a few minutes usually. I don't know who's programming those things, but yeah, it was pretty interesting. I only ran into about six of them, but if you're a PKer, then most likely you're hopping worlds constantly. So you'll probably run into a fair amount of them. I definitely recommend PKing here in welfare gear because you can make some good money. You either kill the dragon or you kill the person that kills the dragon. Either way. You're going to be walking away with bones and hides and probably an amulet of glory, maybe some extra things depending on whatever bot farm you run into. Other than that, though, I did stay in the 2200 at total level worlds for quite a bit during this video, and it worked out pretty well. I didn't run into a single team that attacked me and killed me. I ran into a few people that just decided not to attack me, so that was nice. It's not special privilege, believe me. I, uh, you know, sometimes you just get lucky, I suppose, but uh, yeah, I was thankful for that because my risk was, you know, it was decent. And if I died, I'd lose a looting bag and I'd lose all of, you know, my supplies, anything that I would have in my looting bag as well. So it's just, it's so unfortunate to die and re-gear and all that. It's just stressful. So I was glad not to have to deal with any deaths uh, for a majority of this video, I should say. At this current point in time, though, I did have, I think, two or three looting bag notes. And according to the wiki, that is one in 1800, just like the Trover Parchment, uh, which, you know, the price of the looting bag is 34k. Uh, the price of the parchment is 935k, so quite a big difference in that. Uh, I really hope to see some parchments, but so far, just no luck with that. Uh, but we were getting uh, pretty regularly uh, getting clue scrolls, so that was very nice. And occasionally, it would I think I'd go on like a 20, 30 minute dry streak maybe, but um, they always pulled through for me. I think I got uh, probably 33 hard clues in 10 hours time. And like I said, I'd always pause the timer and then go do the clue very quickly. And maybe 
it's just because of all the clues I've been doing in the last couple days, but I feel like I'm really good at uh, hard clues. Like I do them very quickly and it really doesn't bother me at all. Even the pyramid step, even the 53 wild steps. Um, I really don't mind it. I think it's going to make for really good videos in the future. So yeah, I'm looking forward to opening these 100 caskets soon. Obviously, if I got 33, then that means we're going to be about 20 short for 100, but I'm sure it'll take no time to get 100. Uh, just got to figure out what I'm going to do first. All right, so here is the last minute of the video, literally the last minute. And as you can see, I tried to teleport, but I misclicked and yeah, I got teleblocked. It only took nine hours and 59 minutes, but a team finally showed up that I knew I could not uh, survive against. And yeah, unfortunately for me, I'm kind of looking as I watch here, kind of seeing if I'm protecting item or not. And it looks like I was protecting item, but unfortunately when I did end up dying, I did lose the max cape. So yeah, I, for some strange reason, I was bringing dragon boots. I should have been bringing climbing boots. I would have been able to protect it then. But yeah, what a way to end a video. I, I guess it's kind of a good representation that you can die here and there are teams that are capable of it. I didn't want to do a video with no deaths, you know, give you guys some uh, false comfort there. So at least you guys know, yes, this is dangerous and you are going to be taking a risk if you decide to kill these dragons. All right, with all that being said, let's go ahead and do the price check. The very first price check, this is the bones, the hides, the insult heads, as well as the coin drops and all the teleports. This one comes out to be 10.1 million GP. And now we have the second price check. This is just the runes, the gems, uh, mithril, and adamant items as well as the food that I picked up and banked because that will add up too. So you can either eat it or bank it. I just decided to bank it. And that was about 950k from the second price check. Now we just have one more price check left. Uh, not that much here, just some things that I PK'd and some things that I picked up along the way. And that one came to be 350k. So loot from 10 hours of Wilderness, Slayer Cave, Green Dragons, 11.4 mil. 2.5 mil lost in the last second on my only death, but I'll still just say that I made 10 mil profit and I acquired 33 more hard clue scrolls. Just to show the rune light tab, if you're uh, confused as to why I have less bones and hides in here, that is because I did kill a few people and they had loot keys that had hides and bones in them. So yeah, a little bit of extra profit for me. And that's about it for this one. So thank you guys very much for watching the video. I should see you guys tomorrow night with either 100 hard clues or 10 hours of sulfur lizard. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that. But yeah, you are awesome. Thank you for everything. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep out.